At Godfrey Hurst, we pride ourselves on making one of the most luxurious and natural carpets on the planet. G'day, I'm Fraser Pint, and I'd like to share with you the Godfrey Hurst farm to floor story. And it all starts with sheep. In order to make the best wool carpet in the world, we use the best wool in the world. The farmers who grow our wool are passionate about caring for their sheep and the land they live on. Matt is a fifth generation sheep farmer who is committed to future thinking farming practices to ensure New Zealand continues to produce high quality wool for generations to come. For most of the year, these sheep free range in this incredible environment. And then when they no longer need or want their woolly coats, it's off to the shearing shed for a haircut. Skilled Kiwi shearing gangs hand shear almost a quarter of a million tonnes of wool annually. These shearers love their work and handle the sheep with the utmost care. The final part of the shearing shed process is called grading. All our Godfrey Hurst wool carpets are made using really high quality wool which is scoured or cleaned here. So this is greasy wool straight out of the shearing shed. You can really feel the lanolin in it and it smells amazing but we can't make carpet out of this. We need Tony to show us what happens next to this greasy wool. Fraser. New Zealand is a world leader in wool scouring technology, which isn't surprising really, given how much we love our wool products. First up, it's the sorting process, where we ensure the wool is up to type and specifications. Wayne's the most highly qualified sorter in the country. Good on you, Wayne. We've developed a unique way of pre-cleaning the wool before it even gets wet. This technology opens the fibres up and knocks out the contaminants so it's easier to clean. And under Paul's watchful eye, the wool is blended together so that all the wool from all the different farms is evenly mixed. Now it's into the wash. We use biodegradable soap, hot water and a series of gentle washing processes to ensure the fibres remain undamaged. And here at the dryers, Paul and Tony do some final quality checks. Excellent work, lads. The wool is then pressed, baled and checked for quality using state-of-the-art equipment by these two state-of-the-art blokes. And that's a wrap on the scouring process. Now it's time to turn that lovely clean wool into yarn. Oi, Fraser. I'm just going to go have a yarn with Bruce. The first process here is dyeing the wool. We reopen the fibres, then it gets a really good soaking with warm water. Nick mixes up the dyeing solution, and then the wool is treated for six to seven hours till the right colour is achieved. Any excess water is squeezed out, and then it's into the dryer again. And now we're off to the blending area. Blending is an integral part of the process to ensure the wool is evenly coloured and mixed. Our A-team, Wayne, Jamie and Tutty, weigh out the colours which will combine to create a perfectly uniform carpet. The blending room is so comfy! Did you know wool is a natural, renewable, biodegradable fibre and it's also anti-static? Look, I'm living proof! Now it's time to card the wool. First it gets sucked up into this machine. Colin, make sure you don't disappear up there too! Then it's into the carding machines. Overseen by Owen, the spiky contraption ensures that any wool that might still be entangled or clumped is separated. This condenser then divides the web into evenly proportioned ribbons of fibre that are of uniform quality, strength and colour. We call this slubbing. Now it's time to bind the fibres to create continuous strong yarn. But most carpets are not constructed out of a single thread. Stephen oversees a process called spinning, where the fibre is turned into yarn and one strand becomes two. In the final process, Tarika winds and twists the strands. The cones are packed by Donna. And this is the yarn we use to make our amazing Godfrey Hurst wool carpets. And here in Auckland, New Zealand's largest city, our talented people turn the wool from the back of those sheep into the best carpet in the world. Don't they, Glenn? They sure do, Fraser. <laughs> Follow me, mate. So this is Tangaloa, our master beamer. He's operating our beaming machine where the yarn is wound onto these enormous wooden reels. It's a hands-on job that requires constant attention and an excellent attitude. These huge tufters act like massive sewing machines that stitch the yarns through a backing fabric to create loops. Epi works this machine like a real pro. She doesn't miss a beat and any minor repairs are made on the spot. This huge roll of unbacked carpet is about to cross the finish line. And here's the start of our actual finishing line. Good work, Stace. The backing for our wool carpet is another 100% natural fibre, jute. Hey, Bruce. Bruce is our expert gluer, and you'll notice he's not wearing any safety mask. This is because the glue we use is solvent-free, low VOC, and low odour. Mmm, ice cream, anyone? 
Dawanda keeps a sharp eye during the drying process. He's making sure there are no creases or folds in the backing. Lee oversees the final trimming process. Awesome job. And now it's final inspection time. Jane, Dennis and Naz walk for miles each day making sure the wool carpet delivered to your floor is in perfect condition. For lounging around on. And it's not only really comfortable, it's resistant to fire, water and stains, has acoustic properties and is insulating too. Our fantastic wool carpet is now ready for you to enjoy wherever you are in the world. There's no I in team here at Godfrey Hurst. Thanks guys, stellar job. So that's the Godfrey Hurst farm to floor wool carpet story. Whew. Oh, thank you very much James. Cheers for watching. And cheers to the passionate New Zealanders who have made this carpet for you out of the best natural fibre in the world, New Zealand wool. It's been a long day.